Hello, everyone. Welcome to UGM Motivation. Today's motivation is titled Free Your Mind. That's the title of this motivation. Now, the reason why I decided to do this motivation is that it just hit me that man has spent all these years, centuries, eons that he has been on planet Earth just blaming everybody else for all his problems, for his challenges, for his misadventures. In fact, he spent so much time blaming everybody, blaming God that God created him and abandoned him. One of the funniest things about this whole incident is that man has been lamented. When I talk about man, I'm talking about everything that is mankind. <laughs> Woman, man, children, whatever you are, as long as you are living, breathing, you're walking on two feet, and you identify yourself as mankind, created in the image of God, I'm addressing you, including myself. So I'll be speaking from my experience, because I've had quite an experience. I've been on earth for more than 40 years. Within this time, you know, I know that early stage of our life, we don't remember most of it. But in my case, I, I'm one of the fortunate ones who remembers so much. I even remember when at my, I was still suckling on my mom's breast. The way I would look up and look into her eyes and on her face and see the love that is in her eyes. Okay, so basically, I remember everything about myself, but we're not here to talk about me singly. We are here to talk about man and how man can free himself. So basically, it took me a long time. I spent my time trying to find the solution of all kinds of problems that I felt I was facing in my life. And I faced quite a bit of it. Because I, I actually, I never realized that those problems were created by me. I never realized that the way I created those problems was by thinking and seeing those things as obstacles, seeing them as problems, instead of seeing them as solutions. I spent most of my time in, on it. From the moment I became more aware and a little, a little bit grown up, I spent most of those times <laughs> trying to run away from any circumstances that I deemed unpleasant. People that I deemed wicked or bad or evil, because that's what we are taught. Once we grow out of that childish wonder, we grow into this world of adults or semi-adults, where they teach you good and bad. And you, they, they literally force you actually to, you know, like, Believe it, you know, that's what we go to school to learn, how to avoid obstacles, how to avoid problems. Most of the focus on earth is teaching you what is wrong, how not to break the law, what, is, what are obstacles, something that can kill you. If you go to hospitals, pharmacies, and most of the places where they're healing people, most of the thing they will teach you and the medicine they will give you is prevention against diseases. They teach you about sicknesses. They don't teach you about perfect health, you know? So we are trained and conditioned. So I'm not blaming anybody anymore because I just realized that even the ones who are brainwashing us and teaching us and trying to heal us by teaching us to be afraid of and also stay away from sicknesses or things that can provoke it, these people are not aware. They are not guilty because just as or every other person, they are not aware that you should focus on positive, focus on good, and just allow God to handle the negative. You should just drop all everything that's negative, everything that's bad, everything that is breaking of law, anything that is not in the mind of God, okay? Remember, I have taught you, I've done so many motivation in the past that is pointing to the fact that God is good. Always, no matter what. And he believes good and sees good only. He has said good. And since we are created in his image, he has created us good. Perfect in every way. 
wonderful. And we are supposed to be faithful to our goodness, faithful to our wonderfulness. We are supposed to be awesome and cute. And there's no apology for us looking cute. Okay. Over the years, at the beginning of time, we were always grateful and happy to be cute. There was no shame in us. No embarrassment. There's nothing like if, we, if you tell him how cute he is or tell her how beautiful she is, her head is going to explode. No, our head was not exploding. In fact, whenever we congratulated each other or appreciated each other or admired each other, that person produces more. So we will talk about the need for admiration and encouragement and positive attitude towards one another and another motivation. Right now, we are focused on how to free ourselves. So I'm not going to spend my time or circle my time just talking about the negative experiences anymore. Without much ado, let's go back in time. The title of this motivation is Free Your Mind. I found out how to free our minds. The way to free our mind is from within us, from ourselves, by ourselves. Remember that God said that the day you find the cause of your problem is the day you receive the solution to that problem. Today, I have found out that the only person that is responsible for my situation and for my experiences, the same thing goes to all, the, all of mankind. The only one, the only causation, the cause of all things is me. It's you. It's all of us, all of you, all of mankind. We created ourselves. Over the years, we created ourselves. You remember that God Almighty told me that I should tell all of you that we are all God. When I say God, I'm not talking about God's that as a interpreted it in the Bible or people go around saying it or in all kinds of claims that have come over the years. He said that we are him. So what he means is that we are God, almighty God. We are one with him. There's no division. So he created us in his image and gave us authority and power to be able to be self-creating also, to do what he does. And he told us to live a good life. We should focus on him. He made us know that he's the light, his hope, his love, his life, and that everything is good and everyone is good. So our focus, he said, just look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at, look at me. Our focus is supposed to be on God. Loving him, seeing him as light and appreciating and accepting him wholly. And as we look unto God Almighty, automatically we are looking unto ourselves. The only reason why we got distracted and we have been in tears is because we stopped looking at God. By stopping looking at God, we stopped looking at ourselves. If our focus was not distracted, we would have known that we were the cause, the cause of all things in our life. So I'm using my experience. I finally, after swimming in the sea today, in fact, when I was inside the sea, it was when it hit me. But it hit me, usually when this information, they call, when they come in, they come like that. There will be instances and things that will happen to show me that this is it. This is it, money. So the truth is that we are the cause of all things. The hidden cause of all things is the Most High God. And because he is in us, we are the one, the captain of our life. We are the designer of our destiny, the designer of our life. I know that some people might argue and say that, oh, you cannot design your life, you cannot be captain, God is captain. God is in us. He has told us that we are him. So automatically we are him. And... Our mouth, we speak words from our mouth. God told us that we, our words are words of power, that we should be careful what we say. Our thoughts are alive. They are living and breathing. Just as our words are alive. We have to be careful what we think. We have to be careful what we say. We also, our behavior has power also and authority. So over the years, I know that everybody that's listening to this motivation, one way or the other, you must have, you know, imagined something that is not good or said something that is not favorable to you 
at one time or the other. So this is the cause of the problem. Most of the things that you are afraid of, I know that many of you have experienced them happening in your life. The reason why they happened is because you focused on it, you thought about it. So at the end of this whole motivation, I've come to realize that most of the things that happened to me is caused by me, was caused by me. Because I imagined them, I allowed them. Even the ones that other people did. By realizing now how powerful I am and how powerful people on earth, mankind is, I've realized that I'm the one who has been remoting everybody. You know what they call remote control? You sit in your, de- your chair, balance far away from your computer, far away from your phone, far away from your television. And then you change the channel. Man, you change the channel. What it means is that, okay, neighbor A is gossiping about me. You don't like it, you move to neighbor B. Neighbor B wants to come visit me, but because neighbor A is gossiping, just call it. At the end of the day, the remote control is in your hand. You could decide not to even put the channel to neighbor A and B and C and all the rest. You could choose to move, your, change the channel to yourself. You know, you have your own channel too. So this is what I'm trying to teach you. All we have to do from now onwards as a way to free our mind is to change the channel into ourselves. Go into ourselves, whether we are outside ourselves or inside ourselves. The focus has to be on ourselves. We are the causation. We are the cause of all things. The hidden cause of all things is God. But that God has told us that we are Him. We, we are Him. You know, when you have a child, your biological child, even the child that you adopted, after a while, that child becomes you. You will see a life. And the child, you, maybe you are old or you are distracted or you're busy or you decided to take off to the mountains or the forest and, you know, just to go detoxify yourself. The child becomes you. Everybody that sees him sees you. Anybody that sees her sees you. The child will go sit on your desk, your office, whatever. The customers will call that child. So I and my father are one. That's what our Lord Jesus Christ told us. It's just what it is. There's no long story, no parable. We are one with God, we are God, and we are the one. We have spent so much time blaming God and accusing him of doing wrong to us or creating us or, you know, we have spent time blaming our neighbors, blaming our friends, our wife, our husband, our children, blaming the television, blaming the car, blaming the dogs. We have never been to ourselves until now, until this time, when God started revealing it. I do not blame anybody. I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming myself because I did not know. I did not know. You did not know. You did not know that you are God. You did not know that your words have power. You did not know that your thoughts are alive. You did not know that your imagination, your attitude influences your environment. Your attitude of everything. Attitude of the mind, attitude of relating to people. So the conclusion is this, that it's whomsoever that created the problem Whoever that is behind it, it's much easier. It's like when somebody set up an account and put a password on that account, online or in real life, or you make it safe and you put a password, it's faster and easier for that person that set that password, that has it in his memory or written down somewhere, to unlock the door, to serve him or herself. To make the amends, to make the correction. I know that as we are in this world right now, after all that we have been through, everybody is waiting and looking for somebody to fall, somebody to take the blame, somebody that will help them free their mind. I've read and watched both on social media and in real life. Watching on the news, where people are talking about all kinds of sicknesses that they have, all kinds of problems that they have, and looking for somebody to heal them or cure them with one medicine or the other. Everybody is expecting somebody to come with one solution or the other, but none of them 
has gone into themselves and asked themselves, how can I help? How can I solve this problem? See, for the sake of one man, a nation can be saved. So for the sake of just one person who look hard at himself in the mirror and realizes what I have said or accept it and believe it, they will become it. They will solve their own problem. What I'm talking about is that every situation that you are in now, you can be freed. You can free yourself. You can make a man, whatever sickness that is, pl is plaguing you, whatever worry, problem, challenge, setback, confusion that you're experiencing right now, you can practically free yourself. You. I'm not talking about anybody else. I'm not saying that I have to come and do it. All I'm doing is to be like a guide there or a guide directing you, pointing to you. This is it. This is it, baby. This is how we roll. This is how we serve ourselves. Just like all of you, I spent many years, you know, not really blame because I'm somebody who is, has been, always been very close to God. So my own blaming of God is not open. I don't come out and shout. I don't lie down and start thinking God did this to me. No. I had people that were coming to me who call me on the phone and say, Auntie, God is punishing you or God is testing you. Some people who call themselves men or women of God were saying all kinds of things. It got to a point that I decided not to talk to anybody or to mention to anybody whatever happens to me in life. And it was from that moment that I stopped talking about it or mentioning to people, since they are going to blame God and you know, try to convince me to accept it because you know, God, uh, maybe it's not because I'm not doing good, I'm doing good, but still God is still punishing me or God wants to test me to see how long I can hold out. It was not God punishing me. It was, you know, just like all of you, my imagination. I was creating the problems until I said stop. I said stop and I started focusing on myself. Even now that I, for many years that I started focusing on myself, from time to time I do behave like everybody else and just, you know, Descend into that low moment where I will start pointing. I will start imagining this person did it to me, that person did it to me. Of course, I'm not denying that people don't do bad to one another. I'm not denying that your pain was not caused by one stress or the other. What I'm saying is this, that we imagined it. Do you know how we imagined it? We imagined it and br brought it into life. By believing in evil. You know, we focus so much on what we don't want, avoiding it by all means, and at the end of the day, we still fall inside that trap or inside that thing or inside that hush or inside the poop. So by focusing so much on the negative and fearing, fearing it, we mobilize and equip and arm the people. We created our enemies. We created God. We created Satan. We created all kinds of, we created the angels. And we styled them in our image according to how we want. You know, we even styled some angels and said that they were evil angels. We styled some angels and said that they were good angels. We styled some of them and say, this one is protecting me. We styled some of them and say, this one is deceiving me or lying to me. We styled God as the one, the punisher, the tester. This is our, all our thing. Not that I'm blaming us, but what I'm saying is that it's time to stop. Now that we have known the truth that the solution is us and also is a problem. The cause of the problem is us. And it's not out there. It's not outside. Nobody is coming to save us. There is no lawyer that is coming to free you. There are no government. Your government cannot save you. Because even your own government is in deep poop. They're in trouble. They are human beings. As long as they are human beings like you, they are not equipped. They don't have the answers. All of, everybody's looking for something. Everybody's looking for a way out. 
They all have their own problems because they created so much problem. They built so much wall. They base their belief mostly on false imagination, fear, anger, strife, war, corruption, all kinds of things. Many governments in the world, I'm not saying that everybody's bad, there are good people. But what I'm saying is this, there are many people on earth, the world they learned is what we learned. And many of them took it to the next level. That's how you got the ones they call bad government. So the people having seen and experienced all this, they now form the, a, a mindset, an idea of go, good government versus bad government. They even formed, some of them they even created mafia government. And it has been raging. The war has been raging. Trouble everywhere. They, on their own, they say they don't want peace. They don't want peace. They want peace of mind. They want to live in fear and trouble. Not that they said it, but the imagination, that's what they focus on. So, and many of us, we are taught that way. There are very few people on earth who do not know fear. And most of those people are people, either they lived in villages, remote villages that nobody can get to, or booths cannot easily get to, so they don't know what's happening, or rather they're still living in that Edenic state. Then, you have some people who are born in cities who are exposed to school, their opportunity, even some of them, many of them, their parents are daughters, many of them, their parents are politicians, many of them, their parents are, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, uh, lecturers. Many of them, their parents are just people, intellectuals, who like to read. Many of them, the parents are very rich, and which allow them to amass uh, many books and information, which is pure knowledge that is needed. And they just choose not to put their children in the system where everybody is taught the same thing, to avoid risk, avoid problem, avoid sickness, avoid see this one as bad and not rest. So basically, we automatically allowed people around us to program us. We allowed our situations and things to program us to, to believe in that those things that are called negative are truly negative, and when they happen to us, we cannot do anything. We just have to blame God or beg him to help us. The kingdom of God is within us. That kingdom of God that is within us is God Almighty. So with this kingdom, what comes with it is the self-awareness that I am. And that I am is you. That I am is inside you. That I am is wearing you like a, a mask. I thought this, this motivation, I did it in a different motivation. I did this teaching in a different motivation, that we are the mask through which God sees the world. So what it means is that God lives inside us, and we are an outlet through which he manifests and does things. So all we need to do to be able to overcome, to be able to free our mind, because I've taught ways to free your mind, all kinds of things. I've taught it over the years, but... How, what is the key? Who is responsible? How do you free your mind? If I didn't tell you that you are the one with the lock and key, you are the one. You are the one holding yourself back. Man has been standing on his own way. Man is the one who has created himself. Man is the one who built himself. In his own image, he built himself. Each man builds his world according to his imagination and according to his own image. And the result is that men live in certain words, in certain acts that are different from one another. So my advice is this, that you can live, everybody can live in a happy it, in a state, that Edenic state, which is paradise on earth, by simply doing just one thing. Just one simple thing. You now you know that you are the causation, the cause of all your situation in your life. You are the creator. You are the manifester. You are the controller. You, you are holding the remote control. Nobody else is holding it. And God built it in a way that each person's remote control is customized, custom. So you, I know that many of you know what is custom these days. Custom cars, custom uh, Instagram, custom clothes, custom that. Okay. So basically, you are customized to yourself. 
And whatever you believe is what will happen in your life. And your words are alive. Your thoughts are living and alive, vibrant. Your imagination is very creative and active. You as a being is alive and thriving. You are fire. You are not made of mud or clay. You are made, forged in the fire of the Most High God. You are beautiful in every way. You are perfection that is without words. Most High God has given you all power over all things, including yourself. So, all we have to do is to solve the problem individually, inside ourselves. Solve it. Immediately you remove the lens. I know that I'm trying to explain something to you, but I keep using some big words. Yeah, those big words, I, I, I speak them and I say them in a way that even a layman, somebody that people call a layman, we know it. A child will understand what I'm talking about. Our world is built by us, by our imagination, by our thoughts, by what we say, how we behave, and what we call things. Since we have the authority and the power to call things that are not in existence into existence, being that we are God. So now you understand what I'm trying to say. We created the problem. The solution is us. Since we are the cause of the problem, we, only us, can end the siege in our life by simply doing one thing. Say it is okay. Say it is well with me. Say I am good, I am perfect. Say all is well with me. Thank you. Whenever fear tries to creep in, say, ah, I am one with the Most High God. I am not afraid. There is no fear in the mind of God. For that reason, there is no fear within me. I firm at all times. And whenever there is any of the, uh, so, uh, the situation that try to persist, despite everything you have said, just carry them. Gather all of them. Imagine yourself. Imagine them as loads. Gather all of them in your hand or in your car, or in your crane. No matter how big they are, there are different vehicles. If you can't find vehicles that is in this world that is, suits your situation, just imagine. Even if you imagine the ones that are out of this world. Load up all your problems and drive down to the house of God and drop all of them at his feet. He said, give it to me. My yoke is light. My yoke is easy. And my burden is light. So the, the yoke of God is easy. His body is very light. So no matter how much we give him or we hand over to him, no matter how much of our own yoke, our own body, and our situation, challenges, worries that we hand over to God, he can carry because he automatically releases and relinquishes all problems. He, he, when problems are thrown or drop at the feet of God, that tr trouble or problem automatically is transformed by his presence because God is pure light. God is pure love. He doesn't see problem anywhere. So as he does not believe in it, when you bring your problem to him, it dissolves and goes into native nothingness because they came out from nothing in the first place. They dissolve and disappear and they don't exist anymore. So the way for you to save yourself is to give everything and hand everything over to God. Develop then this faith, this belief that you are perfect, you are good in every way, you are made right, and that you are one with, the, with God Almighty and you are one with the universe. You are one with everything. Accept who you are. Believe who you are and you will become who you are. Who you are is the most high God. Who you are is the most precious gift on earth. Who you are is the love of God. Who you are is the healthiest being, the most perfect person on earth. All is well with you. All you have to do is to believe. Convince yourself. Convince yourself and accept the solution. Accept that only you imprison yourself and only you can free your mind. Say it is so. And say, 
Today, I free my mind by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Today, I stop to look outside of myself to solve all, all the things that I call problems. Today, I say I don't call those things problems anymore. I call everything solution. I call everything, I bless everything, and I accept everyone. I forgive myself, I forgive everyone, and I do good. I choose good. I am good. God is good. He has blessed me. He has done everything that he has said he would do for me. He has given me everything I need to succeed in this world. I am fabulously financed by the most high God. I free myself from the self-imprisonment that I have put myself over the years. I have faith in God that he can do all things. I cut out all the worst impossibility in all the dictionaries in this my house. I remove that word from my vocabulary and from my life. I become possibilities. I become possibilities. I become everything. And everything becomes me. I become one with God. I accept my divinity. And I lose myself. I free myself. I unlock myself. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. By the authority of the Most High God. I unlock my life. I unlock all my friends, my way wishers. Oh, even my enemies. I free them. I set them go free. Now that I know... That I am my own enemy. I was. I, am, I was my own enemy. Not I am now. I was my own enemies because it was through creating them that they manifested. I created them in my mind. Just as I created them in my mind and they manifested, I can uncreate them. There's no need for me to go and look around for somebody else outside of me to come and uncreate what I have created because they don't have the password. I am the only one with the password to free myself and to free my mind. I choose today by the authority of the Most High God to free my mind, to unlock the door of my success, to unlock the door of my perfect health, to unlock the door of my perfect happiness, to unlock the door of my perfect happy marriage, to unlock the door of my fa perfect family, to unlock the door of abundance. Uh, to unlock the door of gratitude where people will be grateful to me for everything I do. To unlock the door to what I am here to, who I am here to become. The greatest version of myself is the reason why I'm on earth. I unlock me. I release me today by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I want you to write this down and repeat it all the time. Say it to yourself. It's something that you can say if you say it with great and mighty faith to yourself. Believe it and accept it. You must become it. It is bulletproof. Today I tell you the truth. I'm not speaking in parable and I'm not beating around the bush. I know that I wanted to give you a small snapshot of how to free your mind, but I have ended up giving you a full-blown motivation. You are holding the remote control. You are the answer to all your prayers. I know that for long you have cried. You, because of your tears, you became so blinded that you could not see your nose. You could not see the most high God for who he is. A solution. A helper. A divine destiny helper. You could not see yourself as the one, the only one holding the remote control. In French, we call it telecommand. It means you are in command. You're commanding. Now, you don't just hold the remote control to your TV. In what I'm saying to you, you are holding the remote control to your life. And now remember one thing. When I started the motivation, I told you it is free your mind motivation. For that reason, I'll give you bonus information. The remote control you are holding in your hand is not only the remote control to command your life, your destiny, and everything that happens inside you. It's also the remote control to control everyone and everything that is around you. Everything that God has created, the command is in your hand in that remote control. Do you understand what this means? What it means is that you are the architect, that great architect of your life. You are the designer of your world. You are the creator of yourself and your lineages and your friends and everything that comes with you, around you, and before you and after you. All of them are the way they are because you made them. And if you want, if you are being challenged right now, if you have any problem, 
situation worry if you are striving and yet it's not nothing to show for it if you are hungry or lost or confused are you pregnant i don't know what to do did they give you bad news are you sick do you did, did you receive a death sentence or a death notice that you will die in the next few days or in the next few minutes or seconds or that you will die in the next few six months or something yeah or that you know you don't there's no more hope for you i want you to know that is not true it's only true to the extent that you believe and accept it but if you can listen to me today right here right now and know be still and know that you are god when you become still you command yourself to commune with yourself to become one with yourself and one to the god with god almighty the creator of all things if you do this automatically you go inside yourself and you locate everybody and everything and you fix the problem from within you once you fix your mental diet once you fix your attitude of the mind once you stop putting yourself in prison with, a, with what i call self imprisonment once you stop imagining and accepting negativity automatically your world will become heaven your life will become paradise your thoughts and actions will become even greater and more alive and you will have peace on earth as it is in heaven and all other things will be added unto you seek ye first the kingdom of the most high god this seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all those, all these things all other things will be added unto you what it means is for you to locate the god that is within you and then no you be come still calm into your power and know that you are god the one with the most high god and once you know this you will know that the man in the mirror and the one that you have been blaming and pointing finger who has been the one after you is actually you and you have no desire to kill you you only have the good in your mind but the plan kept being derailed so once you figure out that you are the most high god you are the player you are the designer you are the creator you are the artist you the musician the dancer and everything you will just fix the problem inside you there are many ways to do it you can do it through affirmation through prayers quietly inside your mind or do it publicly i found out that a public one where you say it loud it helps a lot because you are hearing the things that you're saying in your subconscious mind and even your conscious mind is registering it so my advice is this you are now that you know that you are the cause of all things you are the trouble in your life you are the neighbors you are the one playing all of them because god is the one playing all of them you can only fix the problem and stop the rain from falling or continue to fall by stopping your mind your imagination your attitude from going astray from creating those problems from imagining those problems and uh, from accepting such that you deserve such a thing you and also condemning or you're saying i will never i will never blame anybody i will never don't say i will never blame anybody say okay now i know that all these people i created them so they are coming from within me i'm not going to say i will not blame anybody but let me focus on myself first I blame myself for not seeing my nose before. I've decided to solve the problem. Everybody loves me. Nobody is my enemy. All is well with me. God loves me. I love God. There are only one angel of God as there is one God. There's only one God. There's only one angel and all those angels are God. All that one angel is all the angels and they are one with God. There's only one human being in this world. that person is me and everybody else is inside me for that reason i am holding the remote control and i can arrange my world i can reorganize it i have created chaos 
in my life over these years that I believed that there's something outside of me that was causing problem in my life. So just as I used my heart to create a chaos in my life, I decide today, I accept today to recall my wayward brains and mind and my body and my attitude that I used to imagine all kinds of evil. I change all those imaginations to good. There's only good that happened to me. Oh, everybody loves me and I love everybody. I am healthy and wise and smart. I'm, I have everything that I need. I have all the people that I love. My loved ones, all of them are alive and well and healthy. I thank God. So from the moment you say, I am the cause of all my problems, since I found out, Vivian told me that I'm the cause of all my problems. And the only person who can solve the problem faster and easily is the one who created the problem in the first place. The reason why God allows us to see shame sometimes or suffer some things sometimes is because we did it. And he will guide us. He's guiding us and pointing us. You did it. You solve it. Just like your parents will say, oh, you caught the problem. Now nah, you clean up. It doesn't mean that your parents is no longer your parents. It doesn't mean that they don't love you anymore. It doesn't mean that God is no longer your God or one with you. What it means is that God is just simply allowing you to clean up your mess. My father said that how you make your bed is how you lie on it. For many years after hearing this, I spent my life making my bed well, doing everything, eating right, exercising, and doing everything good. To make sure that I will lie down on my bed in a comfortable way. To make sure that I will have a good life. And I have a good life. I know that I made the mistake of blaming everybody else and creating them to become even worse than they are. Just like everybody did. But I have consciously retrieved. I've consciously stepped back from blaming everyone. And I have focused on myself. I focused on God. And I looked myself in the mirror. I examined my life. And I have solved all my problems. I pray for you. And I bless you. That you will believe this truth. Know it. You can research it if you want to. But ask God. God is within you. How does your heart feel about freeing your mind? It is as simple as ABCD. Or even more simple. The day you find the cause of your problem, that's the end of it. Today I have helped you to locate that enemy. That person that is trying to undo you. That person that created you. The person that is creating your neighbors and everything. Even your children, your wife. Now that you know who the person is, I want you to turn the clock around. Stop praying and say, I want all my enemies dead. No, 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 forget it. <laughs> because your enemy is still you. So if you start being sick, you have created a problem. So I want you to just withdraw all the Im wicked imagination, all the bad things you said, all the condemnation and the expectation that you've been having towards people and towards anybody that you know. Relative, loved ones, friends, past friends and present friends, every imagination that you have had about them that is not of God, I want you to recall all of it immediately. Cancel them, change them, free them, those imagination and thoughts and words that you have spoken, set them free. Forgive them and forgive yourself. This is the way and the key to salvation. This is the way and the key to the kingdom, to free yourself from within you. Once you free yourself, you are awake. Once you are awake, you can reach out, order of your loved ones, and teach them what I have taught you. Free yourself one person at a time. Don't blame, any, don't blame your government. Governments have, they're human beings, and they have their own situation, and they're trying to free their mind too. I pray and I bless everyone that all of us will live a good life, a good example to the glory of God. Thank you very much. And remember to free your mind today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.